Suppose you need to display a string welcome to Java a hundred times. It would be tedious to write the following statement a hundred times. So how do you solve this problem? By using a loop statement. Loop structure or repetition structure is one of the three basic structures used in programming. If making decisions is what makes programs seem smart, looping is what makes programs seem powerful. Why? Programmers commonly have to write code that performs the same task over and over. When you use a loop, you can write one set of instructions that operates on multiple separate sets of data. Because fewer instructions is used, it results in less time required for design and coding. A loop is a structure that allows repeated execution of a block of statements. Within a looping structure, a Boolean expression is evaluated. If it is true, a block of statements called the loop body executes and the Boolean expression is evaluated again. As long as the expression is true, the statements in the loop body continue to execute. When the Boolean expression is false, the loop ends. One execution of any loop is called an iteration. There are two broad categories of loops, condition-controlled and count-controlled loop. A condition-controlled loop uses a true or false condition to control the number of times that it repeats. A count-controlled loop repeats a specific number of times. In Java, you can use three types of loop. A while loop, in which the loop controlling Boolean expression is the first statement in the loop. A for loop, which is usually used as a concise format in which to execute loops. A do while loop, in which the loop controlling Boolean expression is the last statement in the loop. Let's check these types of loops one by one. 